So I've got these solar panels, I've got two. Uh, it's uh, 200 watts each, that's 400 watts I've got with the control panel. <clears throat> I'm just doing, looking at the brackets. Now, the brackets, I didn't realize, were hollow. So this is a corner bracket. I've got the space there for where I drill the hole in to attach the um, brackets in um, to the panels itself. But this is the area that's supposed to fit onto the roof. And as you can see, the contact space is only this big. Um, it's the contact space that I'm really, really worried about. So these are the sides. So as you can see, it's, it's hollow. So what I'm doing is I've got this plastic. I've got a plastic, uh, I don't know what you call it, a plastic beading, I guess. So I'm cutting it up and I'm cutting it into um, shapes. So what I've got is I've got my glue and I've cut it into shapes. So I'm gonna add that to there, add this one obviously to there, and then add a smaller piece just in the middle to try and give it uh, a more a bigger surface area. I'm going to use some expandable foam to put in here to level that off and then use these um, to be able to ha give it more surface area to stick. And as you can see, I was trying some different ideas, uh, but I think I'm going to go with the corners because I've got no, no space there whatsoever. It's all empty. So I'm going to put that over the corners, glue that in, and then um, glue that to that side. And that way I've got more surface area for it to attach to. And I'm hoping that that will work. I will let you know uh, as I go. Um, people will probably watch this video and go, oh my God, what are you doing? But you know, um, it's trial and error and uh, we'll see where it goes as I progress. So I've now got the bolts and I've bolted them from underneath and what that will mean is that if there's a problem in the future with the panels, what I can do is just remove the bolts and um, replace the panel rather than having to remove all the, any side casings. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, if you remember, I made a mess of the back, but that's the backs. And I've got gaps in there, which is good because what I'm going to do is um, stick lots and lots and lots of adhesive on, which will fill those gaps, but also secure, secure the bolts, secure the bolts in there, look. But I really like the fact that the nut is at the top. And that way, you know, once the adhesive is dried inside, they'll be secure in there. And I can just remove the bolt, remove the panel if need be and and that's that so let's get them up on the roof so i've just got my solar panels on the top trying to position where they're going to go i think that's probably the best place for them to be because um i still want to be able to access the um the skylight in future so i'm going to start on them there <laughs> 